Hey guys and welcome to Farmer Simulator 2017 on Cobra Park Farm. So this is back to the farm series. So what do we have in store for today? We've got our trusty Unimog on the front of the dolly and the bale trailer. So any of you remember from previous live streams recently, we have got a field full of Heston bales. So we're going to be gathering them up, selling them off today. We've got the Challenger, uh, which was brought to my attention by Sirius. Uh, Sirius Gaming, I think. I can't remember his name that he goes by on YouTube. I think it could be just Sirius. Anyway, it's uh, got IC, animated uh, hoses and all that good stuff. The exhaust particle effect for when it's getting bogged down needs to be adjusted, though. And it's the uh, old used texture on it. And you may be saying old used texture on a Challenger? Well, what's that all about? Well, it's basically, you know how all of the farm sim models are brand spanking new. Like, they've just rolled off the production line. Shine to them. Well, this doesn't have it. It looks like the uh, coat on the bogies, the idler wheels and all of that stuff is just it's worn it it's got some age to it it's not brand spanking new i love that <laughs> i really do like that so you'll see it in a minute you can kind of see it just over there hey i'm gonna cut through here well, apparently we actually need to finish bailing that little section i may just pile that under to be honest i bailed this for the sake of showing you guys it not bailing basically during a live stream once once upon a time but this is the Challenger right here. But you can kind of see what I mean here. It's more of a matte finish and a high gloss all over it. All of the major stuff. And it has a three point hitch for silage. It doesn't have a PTO. doesn't need one. It's for having weights on the front and silage uh, shields, snowplow, if you're using seasons. But it's a good tractor. I, uh, the only bits I have adjusted myself uh, the number plate they didn't have it up on the proper spot I am going to make a even me or Rainbow Dave are going to make a British version a uh, British number plate they had it down here where the slow moving vehicle triangle usually goes so I adjusted that, moved that up there and they had a bayway sticker here on both sides uh, which I've just disabled in G don't like that one bit so that was an easy fix, it was an ad strip uh, it being an ad strip, I could technically put my own logo there. At the same time, eh, I'm just going to leave it. Actually, we've got a whole ring around. Uh, we'll leave the. Now, for a long time, I, I loaded into the save going, Oh, crap, I've got the wrong tires on this. I've got the wires. Ah, oh, that sucks. I've been meaning to buy a bail trailer on Dolly. Well, now i got it, because I keep on forgetting to enable it, to be quite honest. Square bales, round bales, we want... It's not HD bales, it's big bales, this one. Oh. Now the H HD bales, you I would consider them these, high density. So I'm not too sure what they actually mean by HD bales. If any of you know, please let me know. So, I must say, this is the first video, technically, of the new week, so... Of me recording it during the week, I'm recording this on Monday. And the ATS video genuinely shocked me. When I last looked late last night, it was at 1,100 views. Give or take, whatever the uh, other part was. Maybe like 47 or something like that, I think. Memory serves. Generally shocked because my Euro Truck Sim, my ATS videos, barely get usually... They're usually anywhere from 300 to 400 views. This weekend has been such a weird one. And we've taken a break from Farm Sim for a while. A whole week in time. A whole week from live streaming it. We come back to streaming it. The streams are huge. Sunday stream, although I cut it short because I wanted to watch the Formula 1, was monstrous for a Farm Sim stream. It's been, I will quite happily say this, well, best part of a year since I've had over a hundred people in a live stream. Actually, was it? No, no. 
I lie. Uh, going back, I think, West Coast, actually. So, a few months then. It's been a long time. I was genuinely shocked. The, the live streams this weekend have just been wacky. <laughs> Definitely uh, pleased with the way that happened this weekend. Pretty crazy. Right, what we're going to do now is pick the unload side. You guys know I like to unload onto the trailer, put the straps on. And away we go. Big old Unimog. Now maybe not this model, but the 1600s, the 12, the U1600s, the U1200s are more than capable of pulling this trailer. 100%. These are, things are little beasts. Well, let me tell ye. So also, I want to say another thank you to CD Models, which could be another reason why I didn't publicize it in either of the streams, but just genuinely shocked. He uh, mentioned in Rainbow Dave's stream about his forage harvester being almost done, and I didn't see that. I, I got told this after the stream. And then he messages me after I put a comment in chat making fun of Dave, more than likely. Rainbow Dave this is. Going, hey, send me a message on Facebook. I had no idea what it was about. Yeah, do you want you want to test uh, my forage harvester in your live stream? Huh? I still I mentioned it yesterday, but I still get floored by people coming to me with stuff like that, especially people that are well known in the community, if you like. And Brian CD Models, he's had his ups and downs. There's no doubt about it. He has had his ups and downs with the community. And he knows that. If he's watching this, he'll probably agree. But it's still, it still, it gets me. It's definitely something I never take for granted. And some people may go, yeah, you take it for granted. No, nope, never will. It's awesome. Uh, so you guys are about to see, we've gone through here. Actually, we need to bring a weeder through that. Dave told me a little trick. And de-weed it. And the forager, there she is, tucked away right there. So I, he's uploaded it to the mod hub. I'm going to ask him if he would like me to do a video on it. And I will definitely do a video on it, just a sole video. There's definitely some improvements I'd love to see on this. A PC version with the uh, hoses which can be connected up to the hydraulics and the power and stuff like that. Hopefully he knows how to do that. I don't know what program he uses for rendering, but from what Rainbow Dave's told me, again I don't know anything about this, smooth shading you can do in Blender, which doesn't use polygons, it's just a shader to make it slightly smoother on some of the edges. Like you can see from this, Giants model, pretty darn smooth. And the thing's more detailed than it needs to be. Like. All up in there it has belt systems, the belts don't move but the pulleys do. You can see the rotor back there with the knife blades, all spins. What the idea than it needs to be. It's crazy. So there are some flaws in it which I'd like to see ever sorted. I, don't, I think it's too deep into it now but the animated hoses I think can be sorted 100%. And we were doing that uh, this weekend and I'll be quite honest, this is the first time I've done grass silage like that. I think ever, if not for a very, very long time. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really did. Also, uh, in my spare time recently, I've been playing a lot of American Drug Sim. A lot of it on the new update. And the update's in beta. It's 1.29. And I must say, there is some... Uh, Stuff that I've not seen before in the game. New road textures, I'm pretty sure, and it does seem like they have made the map slightly more greener in areas. Like they've got assets that they uh, didn't have before, probably from New Mexico. But 
Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, that's where you got these from. Darn you, Billaboo. They all sell point on Cobra so much more nicer than West Coast. West Coast is a pain to sell stuff for it. Also, I think we've had a development with that map. Uh, what's the development? Probably shouldn't say this because it's going to spark off and ruin my experiment this week, but I'm going to. I watched my video back from uh, Monday, and I noticed it was it wasn't juddery, but it wasn't smooth. Now, I rec I've been recording at 30 FPS on that map because I can't get above 60 on that map, and I can't emphasize this enough. That map only is atrocious for FPS. It absolutely nukes it. I'm at a loss. I really am at a loss with it. I am very tempted to start a new game save with everything, all, the, all my vehicle files, and see what happens. And see if the FPS absolutely tanks again. Because I'm not too sure what's causing it. Anyway. So I've been doing that, and... I'm going to try recording West Coast videos at 30 FPS and rendering them at 30. Some of you may get all antsy about that, but I'm trying to figure out what it is, because that map, for whatever reason, I can't get much more higher than probably 40 FPS on it now. It's kind of, if any of you know and have been around for a long time in Farm Simulator, FS15, you play the snot out of the map your FPS gets lower and lower and lower before you're into the 20 FPS on a 1080. Trust me, it used to happen to people. Now, that seems to be what West Coast is doing actually. So I'm not too sure what the deal is. Like Cobra right now with all the mods and all the stuff I'm use doing on here, I'm getting 61 FPS right now. So this video should look smooth better compared to the West Coast. And for the first time watching that video back, I saw what people were on about. Where I'm playing it smooth as glass right now, and when I'm I'm playing it and streaming it, but recording it is struggling. So I am truly at a loss. I think it's something 100% something to do with the map. 100%. It's definitely not the system. It's definitely not the recorder. So it's that acting up. Because I ended up watching a dusty. Not Dusty, a, a Sandy Bay video, and it was fine. It was a little funky, probably because I was recording at 30, rendering at 60, but I'm recording this at 60, and it's for myself. I, I really, at this point, I'm not asking for input. I don't want input on this one. Something that I'm going to figure out and test some stuff. And unfortunately, I can't move away from Marillus Action. Uh, it's the software I use. Ideally, that's what I need to do. Uh, but the way the dog is and the way it barks, and the background noise that happens here now. I uh, truly can't, the quality of the videos will just be uh, pants, to say the least. Yeah, I could edit all of that out, but videos may start fluctuating in length. Maybe people don't care about that, they have been recently, so... It's a thing that I am open to. Just means workload, which it should be, will be higher. So I've got a lot of figuring out to do, and I have been using OBS, well, I've been using OBS for streaming and I'm getting more com comfortable with it and changed a lot of stuff in there, so we may end up just going to OBS, having that pause feature I'll miss, because I'll have to use, pr unless I can get the balance spot on, which probably won't be able to, I'll have to use Audacity for my audio, which I have to do anyway, I have to pull Marilla's audio through Audacity. It's just been recorded all at one spot. And then uh, my biggest issue would be syncing stuff up. I'd have to set a push to talk on OBS and do the one, two, three sync. And get that sorted and every time. And I can't just hit a button and go. Which I can right now. I just chop the beginning off where it's a little bit of static. I always wait for one second. I just don't go right away. That's the thing, a lot of people don't understand the the back end of stuff that goes into YouTube gaming. And I don't do anything high end by any shape or form. And some of these guys who do a lot of editing, I won't spoil it for 
people, but Simulate has a video coming up. Uh, I was in TeamSpeak with him when he was editing it. Actually, when he was recording part of it too. It's coming up Friday. It's one to look out for. I've already seen it. He showed it to us. I ended up watching the whole entire thing. Something brand new. Two farms him completely, and he's done something in there that I've wanted to do for so long. Uh, it's kind of funny seeing that because uh, I, I, whether I'll ever do it, I don't know. Maybe it one day after seeing that because it does look really cool. And that took him hours to edit. Of course, he's been busy with work and stuff, so YouTube's been taking a back seat because at the end of the day, YouTube is just a pure hobby for him. Which I guess people don't get. They see so many YouTubers do it full time and all the time that when you get the YouTubers that honestly, that's what the site was made out of. People that did it as a hobby. Like I used to. I, I used to do it as a hobby and then it turned into making money and making uh, a job for me. Not a great one, but a job. People tend to forget that this is just a hobby. It, it's it's not going to be videos all the time, every time. And of course, a lot of people have replaced YouTube with PV. I know I have. I very, very rarely watch YouTube. Very, very rarely watch YouTube. Wow. Very, very rarely watch TV. And I've got a few shows that I'll try and keep up on. Gold Rush is one of them right now. But, uh, that's by the by, really. So what we're going to do is we'll take this back to the field. We've done enough of that. Uh, hopefully we can get one more trailer load loaded. I would love to start plowing up that field. That's the thing with the Hestons. It's less bales in the great scheme of things because it holds 6,000 litres. But you can't hold as many. And I could probably, and I need fuel, I could probably pull another trailer with this, but I am. No way, Jose! Uh, take a run around here to see if we've got any bales. Nope. Nope. Just these, we may actually get a full trailer. Look. Well, be able to pick these up and get out of the field to let the Challenger plow and us combine. Yes, we've got some harvesting to do today. Harvesting. Not sure what I'll do the thumbnail of. Mm. Maybe the challenger. Now I know, I know a lot of people were. Uh, well, I should probably have to be the combine to be quite honest. I know a lot of people base what they do off of well what they watch off of the thumbnails. I don't know damn well plowing ain't going to interest people. Neither is stacking the bales. Actually, we could have got that trailer to load them up too. If they're not on there, I may just run by and pick the bales off of that trailer as well. I think that's what I will do. <laughs> yeah, I wondered if I'll do that. It's been a while since I've used the Unimog. Realized that earlier. So tomorrow's video is going to be West Coast. Again, I am going to trial that at 30 FPS and record uh, render that at 30. Because doing what I want to do to trial stuff, it's going to take time, guys. Hopefully, you'll understand that. Completely ultra realistic. I 
but it worked. Actually, that worked really nicely. Okay, so stop that. Unload straps. And we'll just pull this up over here. So like I said, I ain't gonna do another trip of that. Don't wanna bore you guys. Pretty impressive, mind you. And now this can go back down there. Alright, let's get way through there. Uh, what field are we in? Oh, down here. That's alright. So you guys will probably recognise this thumbnail. Because literally, I've, I've not touched this field since then. Fold that up, switch that on, and... What, what Did we have this going on cosplay? I can't remember. And part of me that thinks we may have. Really not too sure. So what do you guys think, for those of you that watch the live streams, of the new music? That is a... I think I asked a question yesterday, I can't remember. I really can't. I recorded that. Not long after I got up on Sunday. Oh, that's through a program called... Well, a website called Pretzel. 100% free. Yeah, seems weird, doesn't it? That quality of music for free. I don't get it too. I, I'd be quite honest, I don't get it. Don't know how long it's going to be around. Hopefully for a while. Uh, because it's... Blooming good music. It really is. And a lot of people have been enjoying it. Even Dan, uh, one of the moderators, most of you know Dan. That Al Al Y guy said that he was there watching the stream, but saying to himself, Shut up, Landy, I'm listening to the music because he actually enjoyed it that much. It's, it's a good mix. It's, it's music that I would listen to normally. I, I made the playlist, just called it YouTube, and there's over two hours of songs. But it's stuff I would listen to myself. So, I love the fact that people like it. So it's the fact that it's stuff that I quite like, happily listen to. I can turn it up a little bit, sit back, talk to you guys, and it's like chill and listen to music, I guess. Now, I do want to bring some attention to Twitch. I have been dual streaming on there recently, over the last few nights. Uh, now and again, and not often, there may be some streams that appear up on there completely separate from YouTube. And I'm tempted on uh, Monday, time I'm recording this. I'm tempted to do one later tonight. We'll see on uh, American Truck Simulator. Don't know if that'll happen or not. But we may. So you're my face off. Wow. I don't feel too bad tired was. Tired enough. You gotta wait for the coffee to kick him. And when it does it'll kick him because it's a strong one. Made it stronger than I normally do. Very tempted to use the forager again. But I don't I don't know what field we could do it on. I think I've used all the grass fields. We could get the weed again, could do that. And we'll get the challenger going in a minute. Do a bit of combine and get the challenger going. I think we will use the challenger as a thunder. Or if we end up getting grass field going with forager, we'll do that. So I must admit that was so much fun. Takes a while to get everything sorted. Way everything sorted, but it was a lot of fun. Maybe for the first time ever, actually use cosplay on a mower. Kind of curious. I want to. Run a bit of testing on that. For a future endeavour. I think that would be kind of cool. Jeez, it sounds like it's raining outside. Surprise, surprise. Hopefully the weather's good for you guys that are on uh, half term. 
How long are you off to anyway? Uh, I know people are saying, yeah, it's, it's a half term. It's been confirmed for this week. How uh, how long are you guys off? Is it one week or two weeks? I'm not too sure. I've got a feeling it's two, but I don't get It's something telling me that's not. I'm wrong on that. I don't rightly know. We could forage that field, but it's way too small. Now, the forage, we're just putting into the bunk. Uh, well, the dairy. Will I get cows on this map? I doubt it. It's not something I want to bother with, to tell you the truth. I really can't be asked. That being said, this map is of the era where you don't have to muck out the animals. You just need to worry about the dirtiness. So, I don't think you have to muck them out. So it's tempting. It is tempting. Because mucking the animals out, for someone like me that likes doing arable stuff, way more than animal stuff. 100%. To me, the animals are kind of boring. Not gonna lie, they really are. I know some of you just love doing silage constantly and then dairy operations, and possibly even the pig operations. I mean, the dairy's fun to a point. And you got a few cows, like you can kind of forget them for a while. That's really what I do on West Coast. One thing I will be upset if I have to do again, and that's the silage, because oh, good grief, that was a pain in the neck. It really was. We've got corn in that field. But this must have been recording at high FPS. I, I don't know what Bullet Bill did on West Coast. Maybe because it is so old. But then this is just as old. It is not like in my computer. I really don't know what he did on that one. Not saying it's a bad map, but there's something not quite right with it. Maybe it's a mod that I had on the game save. I did put the LT Master on there once, and I would not be too surprised if the LT Master has. Uh... Yeah, because that thing. Actually, I've had two mods from those that team on there that have caused exactly the same issues. The LT Master, which lags like an absolute beast on anybody's computer and you see anyone using that they've probably got FPS issues along with the tracked fear which I am annoyed about because I really like that tractor and those guys who make it I forget the team's name they got a paid DLC coming out through Giants and to be quite honest I hope Giants whip them into shape because the optimization on that DLC is going to be appalling Matt I don't think it's going to have an issue, but they are, because none of their stuff's ever going to make it to console. I want to say it's FMS, or FIS, or something like that. You guys know who I'm on about, but it's, I speak the truth when it comes down to that. And I've shown on a video on West Coast the FPS issues from that Fiat. And it, I was using it, how I was looking at it in the garage, in the work, the barn, and I remember deleted it from the game save or just sold it and my FPS went back up like 10 15 FPS a mod shouldn't be doing that especially one like that so simple and the IT master it's a beautiful mod but oh buddy the polygon counts atrocious it really is it's a shame because that, that thing could I would totally use that normally I think it's an absolute Amazing mod. The script in it's fantastic. But they they need to refine that one. But they got of course with the DLC proposals, they're elsewhere now. Some of them having a timeline. I don't know. Oh, are you kidding me? Of course I would roll through that. With them having a timeline, I don't know. That's one to keep an eye out for, I think. Hopefully they do well, though. I definitely don't wish any ill effects on them doing this DLC. I just hope they get their optimization issues sorted. Because they are pretty bad. Should have cut uh, one swath through the field. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this video is, considering I've kept an eye on the FPS. Uh, it's 61 right now, still. 
think I saw it drop like 58. Coming down here. And the combine a few seconds ago. If that's what it takes on coal, uh, on uh, West Coast to brand new game save and just put in the new vehicles again. I'll do it. Won't be happy about it, but I'll do it. it means losing all the progress on the cows. Redownload the map so it was complete, 100%. Good to go. There's a few things I'm going to try first. I may talk to Oxygen uh, Bill Bill about it first. I know he's been busy with his dad. I definitely found love for uh, this map again. How tall or high is that node? Okay. That needs to get bought out. There's me looking at stuff to fix in GE again. That needs to get bought out and down. Way down. Because that shouldn't be that far in. And hopefully that will make this axle work on this truck. Okay, project for later. I've, I've, as I touched on yesterday, people have been asking me about mods and maps and stuff like that. I don't know how to mod. I don't know how to map. I've got no interest in making either, to be quite honest. And doing YouTube and stuff like that. Any map maker that tries to do YouTube at the same time as making a map, they end up not touching it for a long time. Look at Rainbow Dave. Look at Simulate. Both of them were working on a map. Have been for quite some time. But make very, very little progress because... Sim does a normal job, and Dave, YouTube. You want some time away from time, Sim, from time to time too. And also, I've been seeing a lot of people thinking that Milroy simulates map. It didn't. He was helping, and I don't know the guy's name. I don't know much about that map at all. He was helping the original Wolfer fix some stuff on that map, and the original Wolfer is now taking it back over. And it's all down on him. It's not simulated map. I've seen a lot of people get confused about that. Okay. This trailer doesn't really like to make it around that bend. Oh, he's side tipping. No, I don't want to side tip. Uh, close cover. Okay, that's better. Now the big trailer we may have to side tip because it's probably get caught up in here. I believe Bill Bill did remove the collisions off of that. We'll see, I guess. If it completely freaks out. Moment of truth. Ah, sweet. Shins don't really way around that. And get rid of the F1. And what we'll do is we'll jump in the Challenger and get it going on a course. It's probably a course that'll keep safe, to be quite honest. Do we actually empty the combine? Let's uh, see what we did. But yeah, definitely just have to move the node out and then down a hair to get the tongue of the trailer down a bit. Alrighty, uh, we'll switch that off because we haven't got too much longer left. Actually, next to no time left. And switch that off, switch the beacons off, and we'll tab through quickly. There we go. And this beastie gun, like I say, is not too much different to it. It's mainly the textures and a bit of IC. Oh, the lights in too. Love the chronos on this thing, it's amazing. Okay, don't know why I'm bothering with doing the course play. Because it is the end of the video. And you probably can probably hear the water running downstairs because the 
water or the pipes in this house are stupid stupid loud and it sounds like there's water running just behind the microphone but there's not it's uh, just roaring water in the pipes because they're so sm such a small diameter I'm pretty sure that's what's causing them to be so loud and I think that's good but we will call it quits here and I'll do this off camera I hope you guys have enjoyed we will be back tomorrow on a west coast like I said I'm going to record that at 30 fps render at 30 fps and see if it's marginally better at some point in time it's going to be a while it's not going to be this week uh, worth of videos it'll be during the weekend probably I'll try and figure out the game save brand new game save of all the vehicles I'm currently using and see what the cause is to be quite honest whether it's the physically the map or maybe a mod that I've had in there causing it and I do have to start a new game save there is that risk but for this week it's gonna be any west coast video that you see it's gonna be at 30 fps sorry but it's part of the process of figuring out what's going on so until next time guys I hope you have enjoyed and we'll see you later tonight for a live stream on gold rush or farms I don't know yet later